The second is the head impulse test. Remember I said to you there are typically two things that an emergency, emergency department would do, one of which was looking for nystagmus, and secondly is the head impulse test. This is developed um, by the same lab that we spoke of at RPA, Ian Kerthoys and, uh, and Hal Maggie. They developed and looked at this. Um, basically, it's assessing the VOR, and it's using a rapid head movement, again, of about 2 hertz or about 150 to 200 degrees per second, and I'll demonstrate what that looks like. And what we're looking for is the ability for the eyes to maintain focus on the examiner's nose as you quickly rotate the head from side to side. Okay? Again, typically it's done in a horizontal plane, but you can do the right posterior, left anterior, or left posterior, right anterior canals. It gets a little clumsy, and there's some extrapolation that the software has to make. Oh, I'm thinking now of the goggles that I have. But, um, so we're going to show you the bedside version, but there are goggles, there are high-tech goggles that, um, again, measure the, um, this reflex. So if I'm looking at Cassandra and I'm, um, if I turn my head quickly to the left or to the right, my eyes should be able to maintain, maintain focus on Cassandra's nose. Okay? So that's a normal functioning VOR. So when we test people, we really want to, we hope to expect that the eyes to remain fixated on whichever point you've asked them to look at, whether it be the sort of your bridge of your nose, the tip of your nose or the bridge of your nose. When there's a dysfunction, say in this case we've got the left labyrinth for whichever reason is not working particularly well. Okay? As I turn my head to the left, looking at Cassandra, right? as I turn my head, my eyes will shift with my head for a moment. And then what will happen is it will... I'll get a little correction. So it'll be, that's hard to do, like that. So my head, my eyes will move with my head. Momentarily, you'll see it. Well, you'll see it if it's a particular type of uh, circade with, with, uh, with, um, with normal vision, um, with, without um, a device. But we should be able to see it, and I'll give you some examples of it. So what will happen is we've got a, a deficient left labyrinth the head turns, the eyes will move with the head, and then the eyes will have a catch-up cicada, a fast movement, to go back to that target. Now, how do we do the procedure? So I'll run through it, and then I'll get someone up. So what we want to do, obviously, just check the range of motion, make sure that they're not particularly arthritic and that they, they're not apprehensive about you moving here, because they're going to be quite rapid movements. Um, we want to tilt the head... Typically, we want to tilt the head about 20 degrees again to get that horizontal plane in, in this angle. We want to hold the head fairly firm. Uh, I'll show you two grips. There's one that holds at the top of the head and one that holds in the zygoma, zygomatic arch through here. But you want to have a firm grip. This is not something that you want to have sweaty palms on this one. This is not a cool one to have sweaty palms on someone's face or a light grip because it would be pretty obvious they're going to go, well, does this person know what he's doing? Remember the first time you did an adjustment? You're fumbling, you're doing what, what's going on here. Patients know. All right, so get confident with being able to hold someone's head firm. Uh, and again, we want to, um, the, the sort of speed that we're looking at is something like this. That's about 200 degrees per second, and that's, that's sort of the sweet spot you want to be in. Okay? Note the, the amplitude is small. So we're not going like that, because the eyes are going to come off the target. Right? We're looking at about 20 degrees. In fact, less than that. It's about 10 degrees of movement. All right, so it's like that. The way I do it is tilt the head down, I flick to the side, and then I slowly come back. Flick to the side, slowly come back. And it's that flick that we're looking at what's happening with their eyes. I also like to do unpredictable head movements. So don't go from left, right, left, right, because what will happen is they'll do it for you. And we don't want an active part. This is a passive test. Okay, Clive, can I get you up here, please? I'll get Clive facing the audience. So I instruct the patient just to uh, look, at the, look, at my, look at the tip of my nose, <clears throat> tilt the head down 20 degrees. Now, as I said, there are two grips. You can hold the, the, just above the ear, sort of the temporal area, and just move it. like so, looking for any 
this placement of the eye off the point that I've asked him to look at. Alternatively, put the head down, cupping through here. Just like so. 